Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Train to Talk NYC. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. And we are back with the tutorials on how you can edit NYC subway trains. In the first part, we did the R142 method one. If you guys don't remember what method one was about, method one involved us having a picture of a blank R142 display. And then we used the font to type in there and make it say whatever we wanted. And now I'm going to be showing you guys method two. Now method two is going to be a little harder, so bear with me, bear with me. I'm gonna to try to explain it as best as I can, but just so you know, method two is a little more difficult. Method two involves zooming in and rearranging the pixels. You probably don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna show you guys right now. So as you guys can see, we have a six on 42 six is going to 149 Shigan Grand Conquerors. Over the past like two years, this has happened on a lot of weekends. But we're going to make this into a 1 to 149 Street Gang Concourse. I'm just feeling like making a 1 right now. Alright, so how are we going to do this? Is we're going to actually make a new layer. We're going to make a new layer. Once again, layer is completely clean. I'll select and delete and nothing's gone because that layer is clean. And now, what we're going to do is actually going to go back to the first layer. And the reason why is because we're going to copy some of these pixels on the display. So we're going to zoom in a lot here. We're going to zoom in a lot. We're not going to need any fonts. We're not typing today. And then what we're going to do is going to grab four dots. Four dots, as you guys can see. These That's from the four. Zoom out. So you guys can kind of see what I'm trying to grab. I'm going to grab it from the four right here. We're just going to select all of that. And then what we're going to do is going to copy that. So I copied it. Then I'm going to go all the way out. And what I'm going to do is since the one is red, the one train is red, we're going to have to cover up this uh the green obviously change the color of the parentheses and change that six to a one but first what we're going to do is going to cover up the parentheses now i know a lot of you have probably tried um let me go back to the first layer real quick i know a lot of people have tried to change the hue let me show you guys that as like an example so as you can see you all probably have tried doing this changing the hue it's not a bad idea but as you guys can see, if you change it, as you guys can see, it kind of changes everything else. Now, of course, I can deselect this and make it only here. But then if I move this out of the way, you can see that here is kind of like this color. And then here is more of a purplish color. And if you zoom out, I'm actually going to apply this change just so you guys can see. But I'm going to apply that change, zoom out. And then as you guys can see, the transition isn't really all that great. Looking from the six from the blackness over here and then the blackness here. It just doesn't really blend that well. Now, of course, you might be able to fix that with further editing, but honestly, I don't want to do that way because that's just going to give you more problems. All right, so we copied those squares and what we're going to do is going to go back to our layer two. What we're going to do is we're going to paste it on. Oh, where did it go? Okay, it went all the way over there. So I'm going to recopy it here. So anytime I paste is going to appear here and that's going to save me some time. All right, guys, and the, basically the idea is you just, you just want to copy and then just paste right over it. And the reason why I kept the parentheses there is so you can have a reference of where everything's going to be at, All right? So you're just going to cover up the parentheses, cover up the other one as well. And we're going to speed this up a bit. All righty, guys, now we are done. We copied and pasted and we kept doing it and we covered up the green parentheses. Now you guys are probably looking at it and saying, ew, it looks ugly. But if you zoom out, it doesn't look that bad. Zoom out and it looks way better zoomed out. Now, of course, we are going to give it a little um, glow effect and all that and reflection. But of course, we're going to do that at the end. Not done yet. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our little number one in the middle. Now, I'm going to leave the six here again for reference. Now, fortunately, there just so happens to be a one sitting right here. Now, we're not going to copy this one and then paste it over here. It's not gonna look like what I copied over here is gonna look like it came from over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna recreate that one. Now, of course, the one is sitting right here. So that means I can now obviously make a one-to-one -one copy of this one just by pasting those little squares. All right, everyone, we just recreated that one. As you guys can see, I do kind of have to move it over a little bit because that doesn't look like it's in the center. So let me move that over. Okay, zoom out and boom, looks amazing zoomed out. Doesn't look weird at all. Yeah, I'm going to kind of move this. I made some of them slanted on purpose just to see what would that what 
what that would do but I'm actually gonna move that over back because I don't like how it looked when it zoomed out now our next thing is we're gonna go back into the original layer what we're gonna do is we're now gonna get rid of that six we're done with the six in the back we don't need it anymore we had it for reference and all you got to do this is very simple just select some of the blackness you don't want to fill it in with the color black because it's just gonna look weird right so you just copy some of the blackness from here from anywhere on the display just make sure you don't copy from here because then that's getting some of the red and i know yes this is red and you kind of want this to have a little red around it but we're gonna do that after okay so we're gonna do is just gonna copy some of that blackness and then just cover it up um do you like to stretch it let me rotate that a little bit and you can stretch it if you want but don't stretch it too much because if you stretch it like all the way right here that's gonna the pixels are, are gonna start showing up a little bit and you definitely don't want that all right everyone if we zoom out boom there we go that's what i'm talking about all right now the next and last thing we have to do is uh clean everything up if you want but we're gonna head straight into um adding that little glow so what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this two times duplicate that layer two times right so there's a bunch of ones stacked on to each other but obviously you can't see them because right behind each other. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to go to one of them, choose one of them. I'm actually going to choose the one all the way over here. We're not going to do glow for this one. We're actually going to go on over to effects, blurs, and Gaussian blur. If you remember Gaussian blur, we use that to, to emulate the uh, the reflection on top of the display. So what we're going to do is going to give that a Gaussian blur. And as you guys can see, it's already doing something. It looks pretty nice. Now, one thing is that... um. The color, we are going to take care of that color because as you guys can see, the blur is sort of giving off a little pink type of thing. And if you look over here, it is kind of reddish, but don't worry. No fear. We don't got to worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. Yeah, we're just going to change the hue of that glow, but only the glow because that one, it looks fine. The one is good. All right. So I think 70 looks good. 50. I think 61 looks good. But then what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to our other layer. Let me give this a second for it to finish. Head on over to this layer. And then let me see what this looks like if I blur this one real quick. I am going to stack them on top of each other and give it one hue boost. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I really like that. Don't want to go too much because that's kind of getting a little bright. We'll go to like nine. It's starting to get a little outline. Um, I think seven looks good. Let me just compare. So let me undo and redo. So let me just go back, undo. Oh yeah, that actually did something. That actually looks way better with that. So um, we are going to leave that. Let me zoom out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put these two layers. These are the two layers that were blurred. They're all named layer two. We did that by default, but these are the two layers with the blur. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them together. And this is the layer that has the straight um little things. If I erase that, as you can see, is just blur. Put that back. What we're gonna do is gonna go to this one. I'm gonna just name it blur to not confuse y'all. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is gonna head on over to adjustments, hue, and saturation. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to sort of mimic this little red because that's looking a magenta. So let me see if I can do something about that color and correct that color. Let me go back to zero actually, and then work my way up by ones. I think eight looks good. Let me see a saturation boost. Yeah. Ooh, that's actually looking a little red. So let me turn that down. I think we're going to have to do with like three or four because it's starting to turn a little um, orange if you do increase that. So we're going to increase that from 100 to like 108 and then zoom out and then boom. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. That is amazing. And then to end it all, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this again and we're going to do the reflection on top. Just like the last episode, we did duplicate it. And then bring that up here. And what you're actually supposed to do is you're actually supposed to rotate it. Because it's actually supposed to be flipped. So let me go to layers. I did rotate it, but we still have to flip it. So let me go ahead and flip that. It did jump over here, which is fine. We'll just move it back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it that big blur. Now, the thing is, it doesn't look that um, 
if you look at the 149 sheet concourse it's not that visible so i'm gonna at least try to give it that same effect if you guys remember in the last episode if we increased it by a lot it just sort of disappears i do think that's what we need here and i'm gonna change the hue because it doesn't look the same color as over here okay so now what we're gonna do is um i think we're gonna go to brightness and contrast let me see what the contrast does but yeah you definitely want to slide that the other direction oh yeah oh yeah look at that that's amazing so yeah now that kind of looks like over here it's still more visible than over here hold on oh yeah that is amazing and there we go i think that looks good so we're gonna go ahead and hit okay and it looks like we're done so we all know what to do at the end. What we're going to do is we're going to merge everything down so we can save it to a picture file. Merge everything down. And bada bing, bada boom. There we go. One train at 149th Street Grand Concourse. There you go. With these tutorials, you definitely want to save yourself some time. For example, if I want to make, make like a one train to like Wakefield or something, I'm not going to use this picture and then edit out all of this. No. What you're going to do is you're going to take a picture of a two train to Wakefield and then edit that picture. So you definitely want to save yourself some time. These are not easy to do. Nothing's wrong with trying to do shortcuts. That's the one to 149 Shigang Concourse. This has been part two on how to edit R142 trains. In the next part, we're going to be covering R46s. Make sure to leave any questions, comments, concerns, crackers, anything in the comment section below. Love helping you guys out. But for now, this has been Transit Talk. Thank you all for hanging out right here on Tuesdays, Transit Talk Tuesdays. Thank you all for hanging out. I'll catch you guys in the next part. See you guys next time.